right, let's get this started. All right, hey, hey guys, my name is Heather and this is my channel, Mama in Motion. Uh, I wanna start this video out by just asking you a question. If you could drop down in the comments where you're from, I would love to know. So when I go into my YouTube analytics, it shows me like 5% of my viewers are in the US overall. Sometimes more from the US will watch an individual video, but like overall, I'm having viewers <laughs> that are not just from the US, even though I'm in the US. Um, so I was just curious like where you guys are from. Just the country is fine. Uh, just curious. Um, so anyways, so yeah, this is my channel, Mama in Motion. And if you're new here, I'm on a journey to lose 100 pounds post hysterectomy that I had back in 2021. I started this weight loss journey back in June of 2022, and I am almost down 40 pounds, um, like really close, and I'm definitely seeing great progress. Uh, I weighed in, <laughs> okay. So um, last week I weighed in at 209, like 0.4, I think, or 0.6, I don't know. Uh, I'll show it up here, I'll just pull it. Um, and then this week on Saturday, um, I weighed in at 211.2 pounds. So my weight has gone up slightly uh, just over the last few days actually, like all this past week um, up through August the 12th when I weighed in. Um, all this past week until I weighed in on August the 12th, uh, my weight had actually been pretty low and consistently low all week. Uh, I had gotten sick earlier in the week and I had a lot of bowel issues and a lot was moving through me. Um, I was having a lot of nausea and a little bit of vomiting, um, just wasn't feeling good. I think I got hit with like the flu or food poisoning possibly, but I was like the only one in my family that dealt with it. So I really don't know what happened. But when I weighed in after my like 24, 36 hour experience with the stomach bug, I was at like 206.7 pounds. So I was like so close to 40 pounds down, like my 40 pound down mark is 206.4. So once I hit that, I will be 40 pounds down. So I'm like so close, it's within my reach. But um, yeah, and then I was weighing in at like 207 on Friday and then now I'm weighing in at 211. Um, I also started prednisone, yeah, prednisone um, a few days ago. Uh, my doctor prescribed it. It's a um, like anti-inflammatory, um, what's the word? Like I think it's corticosteroid. I don't know. It's supposed to like help with the back pain that I'm having in my lower back. And uh, it has definitely made um, an improvement in what I've been feeling. And I am really grateful that he prescribed it for me. Uh, I actually go in to see the doctor for my back um, who specializes in the department of durology. Uh, I go in to see them this week and they will I guess help determine what's going on in my back so that I can get um, the proper treatment for it as far as like an injection or something which I'm not excited about. Uh, I definitely don't like shots but I've gotten used to them and I've had injections in my hip before um, and I've had epidurals from uh, when I delivered my girls and uh, yeah. so anyways. Um, I'm just hoping to figure out what's going on so we can address it and fix it. I'm still getting physical therapy on my hand. Uh, I've definitely been dealing with a lot of hand pain this past week, um, but I haven't been doing my hand exercises every day, three times a day, uh, like consistently the way I'm supposed to. So I guess that would explain probably why I'm still having some hand pain. And um, yeah, I mean, Life is just moving along. I'm hoping that now that I'm on the prednisone, it's only a five day dose, so it's very short. Um, the prednisone is making it feel better. So I'm hoping that once the inflammation 
in there dies down, maybe I can start moving again and maybe I can exercise on my uh, recumbent bike or something and do, you know, a recumbent bike thing again, which would be really nice. Or just be able to go for a walk outside. It's super hot right now. It's supposed to get up to 103 tomorrow. I'm just like, so, um, it's getting hot here. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this is really cool that I've noticed and I wanted to share with you guys because I was sitting here like preparing where I was going to put my camera and everything and I noticed that I can do this. What? And like look, look at how different. Oh, nobody knows. I mean, you don't know. But my stomach just used to be like, like it was firm and it was very hard through here where my stomach is everything was just firm and hard and like very solid there was no give and I couldn't I couldn't do this oh that is so cool like that's new this like hourglass type of shape I don't know if you can see it oh <laughs> that's new <laughs> so yeah um my weight may be up you know slightly from last week but I'm not discouraged about it because I'm still maintaining my progress. And I know that it's totally normal for weight to fluctuate up and down. And I did indulge in some extra carby treats this week and things like chicken and dumplings. And I may have overindulged a little bit in some dumplings. And I may have overindulged a little bit in some uh, with some rice earlier. Um, also for a different meal. <laughs> So anyways, um, I don't know. I just noticed that those things really, ha really have an effect on my weight from week to week. Um, the weeks where I'm more, like, aware of, like, eating a portion of things. And I'm not, like, having one or, you know, not one. but And I'm not having, like, two or three servings of the item. Um, I have better results, obviously. But the weeks where I do overindulge even just one day it definitely a jump in my uh weight like the next day or the next two days like it just skyrockets up it's crazy um so yeah that's just something that i deal with for some reason like really carby things um if i just eat too much of it it really has an effect on that uh, but yeah my method for losing this weight has just been eat smaller portions of things um and not to like lose control and overeat um and it's just really made all the difference uh I have a hard time eating vegetables and eating healthy healthier things um so sorry my kids are running back and forth down the hall it's really distracting um so yeah like I don't eat the healthiest by any means but just by eating like more of a portion control like i don't know what i'm trying to say just eating a more controlled portion size um when i have a meal that i really enjoy has really helped um so yeah i don't know i really like sweets it's definitely my downfall and like if i eat something salty i want something sweet and if i eat something sweet i want something salty and it's just like it can uh perpetuate itself and uh make my cravings worse when i'm like in an unhealthy state like i don't really want to say binge on food because like as i've seen more of what other people go through with food binging i'm like oh well i guess i don't really have that i just overeat and it makes a huge difference with my body uh individually like as a person um so that's what i've learned about myself <clears throat> and um yeah um okay anyways i also want to say i hope that the fan i have off in the distance hasn't been affecting the mic too bad so yeah if you have enjoyed this video and um just the information that i'm sharing about my weight loss journey just go ahead and hit that like button and if you want to follow along on my journey go ahead and hit the subscribe button i would love to have you on board and in my comments and if you're on a weight loss journey let me know. I'd love to be rooting for you too. So thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye guys. Oh boy.